this video, we are going to solve exponential inequalities. Example, 3 to the power of x is less than 9 to the power of x minus 2. Now, before we solve this, we have to remember two important things about inequalities. The first is that b to the power of x is greater than b to the power of y implies x is greater than y if b is greater than 1. Meaning to say that this is only true if b is greater than 1. If b is less than 1, then we have b to the power of x is greater than b to the power of y implies x is less than y. So that's if b is less than 1. Okay, so you have to remember these conditions. All right. Okay, now just like with exponential equations, all we need to do is try to find a way that our bases are equal. Okay, now we can write 9 as 3 squared. Okay, so that gives us 3 to the power of x is less than 3 squared to the power of x minus 2. And then we can further write this as 3 to the power of x is less than 3. And then using the power rule for exponents, I can then multiply my exponents. So that will give me 2 times x minus 2. Now, I have equal bases. But remember these two things. If b is greater than 1, then you should follow this one. If b is less than 1, you should follow that one. Here, our b is 3, that's greater than 1, and so we should follow this one. And so that means we should just follow their, um, the, the directions of our inequality. So here, since we have a less than, then we should just follow that direction. So that will give us x is less than 2 times x minus 2. Again, y less than because b is greater than 1, greater than 1. And so if that's the case, then whatever the sign or the direction of your inequality, you just copy that one when you, um, when you bring down your exponents. Right? Okay, so just copy the direction. So since we have a less than, just copy less than. Then all we need to do is simplify. So we have x is less than 2x minus 4. Okay, and then we want our terms with variable on one side and a constant on the other side. So this will give us, so let's add 4 on both sides. So that this cancels out. So we're left with 4 plus x is less than 2x. And then we subtract minus x both sides. So that cancels out. So we're left with 4 is less than x. And that is your solution. Or you can also write that as x is greater than 4. That also could be your solution. Now let's have another example. Let's say we have this example. 1 over 10 to the power of x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 1 over 100 to the power of 3x. So all we need to do is find a way that our bases will be equal. But then it is easy to see that we can write our right hand side as 1 over 10 squared to the power of 3x, okay? So 1 over 10 squared is basically 1 over 100. So we can write this as that, 1 over 10 squared. 
Now I can just easily use the power rule to rewrite my right hand side as 1 over 10 x plus 5 I will write my right hand side as 1 over 10 I will just multiply my exponents that will give me 6x right so that will give me 6x and so now I have my basis equal all we need to do is bring down my exponents right but then we have to remember that if b is less than 1 which 1 over 10 is less than 1 you have to invert or you have to take a different direction for your inequality so if it is greater than then when you bring down your exponents it should be a less than if this is a less than then when you bring down your exponent this should be greater than in short you sort of invert your uh, directions for uh, the inequality that means that if I bring down my exponents this will be less than or equal okay because b is less than 1 b is less than 1 this is our b less than 1 so we take uh, we take the reverse direction instead of greater than or equal we have less than or equal 6x just copy 6x and then all we need to do is solve this inequality so we have i can subtract x from both sides so that cancels out so i'm left with i'm left with 5 is greater than or equal to 5x and then divide both sides by 5 i will then get 1 is less than or equal to x so that could be my solution or x is greater than or equal to 1 that could also be my answer so that's how you solve exponential inequalities it's basically just like solving exponential equations but you need to remember these rules if b is greater than 1 just copy the sign just copy the direction okay if b is less than 1 then you have to invert whatever you have here you invert that okay so if that's greater than then you write that as less than when you bring down your exponents or if this is less than then this is, should be greater than and vice versa and that's it see you in the next video